Well, the Herb Group of Companies is the largest privately owned refrigerated transport company in Canada. Certainly a lot of our stuff is done on appointment time, so it's critical that we arrive when we're expected. So we need uptime. There's no second chance when you're hauling perishable freight. We're only as good as the last load we've hauled. As far as the LT and the A26, as soon as that product became available, we made a move to make that one of our primary purchases. We look at a life cycle cost. What are we going to be able to come back with our revenue generated by that truck? We have about 500 Class 8 trucks in our fleet, of which about 450 are international. Of that, about 120 are the new LT. Half of them have the new A26 engine. Well, if you ask Dad his goals, his ambitions, the first thing he'll say is it's never to be this size a company. Dad's goals were to provide a great job for our customers. I always thought at some point I would like to drive a truck and then maybe later on own a few trucks. And so in 1959, we bought our first international dump truck. Vernon's a very humble man, but he's done an amazing thing. 60 years ago, he bought a truck, and here we are 60 years later, one man, one truck, into 1,500 employees, 800 trucks. The main product that we're moving is food, so food goes everywhere. We have divisions that run strictly in Canada, and then we have about 50% of our fleet that runs from Canada into the U.S. 120,000 miles is what we would look for out of a Class 8 long-haul tractor. If that tool doesn't go to work, the driver's not going to have an opportunity to make a living. The biggest challenge with refrigerator freight is being on time. You can't be delayed because of a breakdown. Reliability is key. My day will normally run from anywhere from 11 to 13 hours driving. The comfort of the truck is so important. It's a beautiful riding truck. It's quiet. I can't really ask for anything better for a work truck. Things that I'm hearing about the new LT is at the end of a long day they still feel refreshed. Another plus that I'm hearing is the layout of the dash. They can focus on driving and pay attention on the road. Well, fuel is our biggest expense. So we've been changing our spec over the last 10 years and staying on top of it. I can easily get over 10 miles per gallon plus and that's phenomenal. That's unheard of really. The LT with an A26 is the lightest package that we've purchased, so that allows us to haul more payload, and more payload means more revenue, and more revenue is what keeps the company going. Last year they ran about 25% of their fleet purchases as A26. This year they've stepped it up to approximately 92%, which really drives home the confidence that they have in the product. The world is continuously changing. We want to make sure that we see what the changes are coming forward. We aren't resting on our laurels. We want to be here 60 years from now. As we continue to move down the road, I see the LT and A26 as being a big part of our future.